Brunei. Yep, I'm coming back to a country that I visited for a very short time two years ago. Why? Well, last time I made a mistake. I booked less than 24 hours to see this country. And while Brunei is just a small speck on the third largest island in the world, there was so much I missed out on last time that it just made sense to come here again when I was invited back to check it out. I feel like I would have been like more nervous if I hadn't been there before, but now I'm just excited because we had such a good time last night. Like I'm, I'm excited now. Last time I experienced incredible nature, amazing people, <laughs> and this time I get to dive into that in even more detail. Led by my friendly guides, Anwar and Faisal. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy with Josie. We will check out traditional villages, try our hand at using ancient weapons. Whoa! Oh, that was alright! <laughs> that was see good! That? See that? And take in some of that natural beauty that Brunei should be more famous for. All while meeting maybe the friendliest locals I think I have ever met. Hello! How are you? I have to touch the plane for good luck. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Yeah. Afternoon. Oh, yeah, afternoon. <laughs> I thought we were still in the morning for a second. <laughs> awesome. And the flight times will be uh, six hours and twenty minutes. Yeah. Awesome. Six hours twenty minutes. Yeah. Oh, good. good. Quick you, one. You want a quick one more faster? But yeah, just tell them twenty minutes faster yeah. for me. Get me, get me there in six hours. I'll be the calculator. <laughs> Very awesome. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It's a bit different, isn't it? You've got this down here. I like it. Sometimes I prefer these old school. Yeah, it is. It feels new. more old school. No way. <laughs> oh, the socks. I thought I thought it was gonna be. I could pull my hair back. They're just socks. Lip balm, body souffle, toothpaste and toothbrush, and then an eye mask. Water bottle. Oh, and a pillow. Oh, and a blanket down there. I feel so lucky. Got gifted a business class flight. That's awesome. Yeah, no soup. No soup. You don't like it. I'm not a ginger <laughs> fan, to be honest. After getting Hello. through the visa on arrival process, we met our new friend hey, on the other you? side. Good. How are you I'm good, thank this you. Is you then. Yes, just ask. Okay. You're on camera. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hi, hello. <laughs> Do we have to get our SIM cards? Yes, I okay. will be getting your SIM card. Oh, for cool. You then. Okay, awesome. But just one though. Anwar helped me with getting my SIM card, and then we jumped in the car with our driver, Zul, who'd be hanging out with us the entire five days that we're going to be in Brunei. Yeah. Zul drove us to the J Hotel, who hosted us for our stay here. Oh, I can't get it out. Can you help? <laughs> okay, there we go. That was easier. Okay, thank you. Oh, beautiful. Oh, nice. Very good. Cool, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate awesome, it. we'll see you soon. What's your name? My name is Basil. Basil. Yeah. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. This is very different. Like, being like taken around by people like as you know we are like solo together travelers like we plan we everything we ourselves don't we don't book tours we organize everything so this is already very different for us temperature down oh that's cool it's like fan as high as possible <laughs> oh gosh if you travel with a boy or tell me do you like the fan on when you sleep because i hate it and he loves it and Oh, I hate it. No way. Oh, there's a camera out the front. <laughs> Let you look out the door. Oh, no way. That way I know it's you to... No, you're not going <laughs> to... Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, enough messing around. You're too old for that. Okay, so just to quickly catch you up before we head out for dinner. Now, we came to Brunei before. We came here about 18 months ago on our own. We just decided to come to Brunei on a whim. We were here for like a day, probably less than. Are you right? I'm trying to record over here. So you can go back and watch that video. I'll link it down below. But since then, Brunei Tourism actually reached out to me and this is with them. They were kind enough to invite me out here. So you're going to see probably more of a... I don't know, it's gonna be a different style of trip and I'm, I'm pretty excited. After freshening up, we met with Anwar who took us for something that we missed last time we were in Brunei, the national dish, nasi katok. 
which ended up being a good idea, as you'll see in next week's video. But after dinner, Anwar and Zul dropped us home to get some sleep before we really get to explore this country in the morning. Good morning, hi, welcome to Brunei. I'm your toy guy on behalf of the Sunshine. Meet Faisal. After a few seconds of knowing him, we knew we would get along. And, spoiler alert, we really get along. Josie. Josie. Mark. Michael. Michael, yeah. welcome to Brunei. Okay. Faisal? Faisal, yeah. Faisal. Yeah. You're like the Saudi king, King Faisal. Yeah. <laughs> we hopped in the car with Faisal and Zul and headed for a local breakfast at Bandar Seri Bhagawan, institution of a restaurant that has been serving for over 80 years. Yes. Don't you want to try any of the cakes? Oh, okay. Okay. Which one do you like? Which one's your favorite? Mana mana? Kita mana mana? Kalau kita. You say everything. Everything. Yeah. Pick Satu. Satu. One. Pick one. You like that one? Okay. Okay, thank you. While stuffing our faces with breakfast, it was clear Faisal loved to talk. By his own admission. And he was happy to give us information about everything, as you'll see over my trip here. This is your nice look. What did you order? Oh, I saw you did that. Now in Brunei, yeah, we, you. this is our culture. We yeah. never point finger. People yeah. get offended with that. This one famous, huh? Now if you're new here, I love Milo and I find Milo everywhere I go. I had to put Milo in Brunei to the so test. Good. It's like smooth, this one. I don't know how to describe it. That's good. Mm. The peanut. Uh, kacang kaya. Kacang kaya. Yes. Yeah. Roti kacang kaya. Roti kacang kaya. That's really good. And then I have this French toast here as well. Hi! <laughs> we love places like this. Like, I can't believe we didn't come to one of these last time. This is a really, like, I think of what, 1946. So he's telling us that everyone has to follow halal. Hiya. Yeah. It was good. I'll tell you that much. Really good. I'll tell you that much. And the people free. next to us had the other one. Had the other one. It was nice, wasn't it? <laughs> and then they will say Pukachi. Pukachi means you're welcome. Pukachi. This is several years of the changes of our. His Majesty looking. Okay, so after a massive breakfast, we're now about to head in the car for about three hours. Um, and he told us that we're going to see, like, basically the whole of Brunei today, which is a lot. Um, move from the downtown, yep. and we're heading to Belay District, Belay. which you are going to discover more than uh, one district in Brunei. It's more than half of the country. Oh, okay. And also, along the way, you're going to see a spectacular view, especially in the Tutong and Belay District where you still see the nature, like the forests are still covered in Brunei country. Okay. According to our government, from the forestry that, according to the geography, the Brunei land 70% covered with the rainforest, oh. including wow. with the mangrove forest on the riverbank. As we moved into the more remote areas of Brunei, you really understand that you are deep in the pristine Borneo jungle. It wasn't long before we arrived at a traditional Iban longhouse. We have to follow like the traditionals here. So before we go in, before you step on the staircase, mm -hmm. we take off shoes off. Shoes? Okay. This house, they have 12 doors inside, which is 12 family. And the main living room, the long living room, is what they use when they having an event, especially during the harvesting. So they make their own rice wine just for their family. The Iban people are prevalent all over the island of Borneo. But because of the lesser known status of Brunei for travellers, we often forget that these traditional homes and villages are dotted throughout the country. Oh yes. Here, down here. And in and Brunei are very welcoming to tourists who want to learn more. Before that, Zul, uh, Michael, <laughs> come here. You. Oh, she does! Hi! I've been something? watching your videos. Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you so much! And Michael, what's your name? Um, uh, Eliana. Eliana, nice and, to meet you. Sorry to interrupt. They have, they have this belief that, so, that what they believe, something that comes around you, yeah. that, the, those that you can't see, like uh, spirits. Yeah. So this is to break the evil spirit uh, when okay. you go in. Yeah. <laughs> and I was excited to see what I would do next. Are they your, your brothers? Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the one, the small one is my little brother. Yeah. That one is my cousin, my cousin, my cousin. Your cousin. <laughs> Hello. It's from different doors. Oh, yeah. yeah. So a hand working, which is the cre creating the crop. A fan okay, using the leaf from the forest, and they're going to tell you what type of leaf and how they're making it and how long it takes time to making it. It's actually very quick. Ah, uh, you're under that one. Ah, okay. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you. You have to make it like on the floor. Yeah, so okay. easy for you to yeah. see the design. 
Oh, oh see. Okay. Mm. Uh, so, okay. Me neither. Me neither. Is this your like traditional dress? Yeah. 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 This, it's pretty. Yeah, thank I you. Like it. Wedding, we also use wear this one. Yeah? I've been watching all your videos. Oh, thank you! That's so sweet! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like and subscribe! Like and subscribe! First up, a traditional dance from my new friend. And of course, I had to try. Too much math. <laughs> yeah, too much math. Too much math and these are all different houses down here, right? Yeah, yeah. each door is represented one family. As you see the label there, so they have 12 family here. But now it's 11 families. Because the history, they live in one community under one roofing. Right. So they can have this living room where they will use it for the big Thank event. You. Like Hawaii. Okay. No, in my house is worse, trust yeah. me. Showing me their home. So the father is also the leader of the community. Yeah. So he also invited to the palace. So these are the these are gifts. Wow. You're special. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very, it is one of the important person in this wow. area. This is my second time to Brunei. Oh, wow. And the second time I've been invited yeah. into someone's personal home. It says so much about the people here who are wow. genuinely some of the friendliest oh, I have you. ever met. The leader of this entire wow. region showed us his personal home and let Michael try on a traditional hat. It's so much longer than I, we than I thought. Yeah. Come on. yeah. Just a Thank bit. you. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have... Ooh. You're okay. <laughs> have a, yeah, sure. I have a look a little bit through down here. Oh, upstairs. I didn't expect that, hey. Wow, this is cool. That pot is where they used for many years ago, okay. hundred years, which is for them to keep the rice. Oh, the yeah, rice! They don't use plastic like nowadays. People yeah. use like the container plastic, but they still using this made of the ceramic. Wow, ceramic, yeah, ceramic. So pot. you can keep the quality of the rice. That's nice. What said. <laughs> where is it? This? Oh, oh sorry, I scared you. <laughs> oh, this. Yeah. And you catch birds? Yeah. Crazy. You blew it. Me. Uh, yeah. On that, oh, yeah, the dark. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna stand back here. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Oh, he almost got it! Whoa! Look how close. Hold on, not yet, not yet. Don't shoot again. <laughs> then it was my turn to try this out. The leader of the village showed me how to use the traditional blow dart. Quick as you can. Whoa! Oh, that was alright! <laughs> that was see good! That? You see that? Can I? The village leader let me know that the darts were traditionally laced with poison and it was this tiny dart that was used to attack invading enemies to protect the area. Everyone at the longhouse was very invested in me learning and exploring their culture, even if I had no rhythm to play any of the instruments. But it was their patience and kindness that stuck out. We sat down together for some local homemade food, including the special rice of Brunei, this stuff is genuinely mm. the best rice you can get from a quality point of view, an investment of the government. We sat down in a circle and tried everything on the plate. There was a language and cultural barrier, but this wonderful family accepted me for the day and welcomed me with very open arms. Before too long, it was time to leave. Thank you. And we'd stayed for hours and it just didn't feel like enough. We said goodbye and headed back to the city. Thank you so much. 12, 10, 10 12. Okay. Bye-bye. Whoop! Stepped. Whoops. Look at all the butterflies. 
Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Beautiful! Oh, lovely! Yes, very lovely Because I've been uh, we returned back to the city to check out a waterfall in the downtown area where I had to try a local foot massage. I was so confident too. Before meeting some friendly Bruneian people. This is my second time here. Second time? Yeah. Oh, come back. At this point, I was being recognized by people from my last visit here and from social media in general. I met so many lovely people while walking around and the interactions felt so friendly, pure and genuine. Just like I had remembered Brunei. As the sun started to set, it was time to grab some dinner. And there was no better place to do this than the local street food market. What do I suggest? We go around first. Okay. We have to survey, then we decide. Okay, yeah. okay we survey, then decide. I like it. Pro tip, survey and then decide. So we got tak oh, takoyaki. I always say that wrong. I say it takoyaki. I say it wrong. Yeah. Snowy. So like ice. And then we have, oh, watermelon lychee. Oh, yum. Cucumber mojito, virgin, of course. And uh, what else have we got? This is a very funny word. Yeah. Burger, yeah, I it? actually want to say burger, but burger guy is me like it's a, a, a moving or, or it's shaking. Oh, okay. I didn't know what that meant. Like, like wobbly. Right. <laughs> the beef liver. Beef liver. Yes. Okay. I'm uh, gonna if, pass on that one. If I'm gonna buy a new, another one, so they gotta give me a free Milo. Okay, may as well have it free then. Free drinks. Yeah, <laughs> can't say no to free Milo. And then we say no, Inda. Inda. Mm -mm. And we say delicious, Yaman. 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 <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. What's this that? The Brunei beef liver. Beef liver. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it actually tastes nice. Okay. They, it's not really overcooked, but it's just right the way how they cook. And this one is actually the shiny part. That's the honey. Oh, they honey! Apply yeah. On it. Yes. Well, you it you try it. Tell me what you what it tastes like. <laughs> Amazing. Good. Very nice. <laughs> you should be on my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know yeah, that. You're good. Thank you. <laughs> For like my second third mile, of, third the mile of the day or something. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really good. This one has like condensed milk in it or something. This one tastes different. Some local boys were interested in why and what I was filming and we added yeah. some new friends to the fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do I say yes again? Ow. 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 <laughs> say that right. Ow. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Faisal hinted that I needed to try the chendol. I've had this all over the region and it's never been my absolute favorite. And then leave. They, ah, they, they take the juice. But I obliged and gave the Brunei version a go. Even if he didn't like tell mixing? me, I had to I shake it. To shake it. Just oh. now. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> it's already like that, so you have to do it manually. We had moved on to another market, set up specifically for the national day that was happening while we were there, and a friendly bird came over to say hello. This is when Faisal, I feel, really came out of his shell. We already loved him and his quirky nature, but this was a real turning point where our time turned from guide and client to actual real friends, and there was so much more fun to come. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for today. Thank you. Thank you. I was such fun. It was very fun. And Faisal and Zul drove yeah. us back to the J Hotel, <laughs> ready to sleep for okay. another long day tomorrow. All I'll right. see you in the morning. See you. See you. Have a good day. <laughs> This day ends with one really great thing to do here in Brunei, but it starts at the Islamic Arts and Calligraphy Center, where robes are provided to wear as a sign of respect, not only the local customs and traditions, but as well as adherence to Islamic principles of modesty. Here I learned about the unique Brunei form of Arabic, where it's written with Arabic letters, but it spells out a Bruneian word. I realized that there really is some depth to seeing the tourist sites here. This is a place tourists have traditionally avoided. There are individual reasons for doing that, but as a result, it has really left this place feeling less touristy for those who do want to learn about different cultures and countries. We are never always going to agree with each other's views in life, Thank but the people of Brunei have shown me again and again that they are good people to me. As I was being taught to write my name in Jawi handwriting, you could sense that this isn't tourism for money, it's tourism to share culture, and that's something I respect. catch anything? We said our goodbyes and headed Any to do something I wish I had done the last time I was here. To... 
a sunset river uh, cruise filled with local people and tourists from nearby. Our friend Nazmi from the tourism board joined us, and at this point, every contact we had on our trip here that has started as a business interaction felt more and more like a friend. heading outside now. <laughs> this is not a very big space <laughs> for me. Michael, watch, watch out for your hat. Face up, can you take that? Yes, please. Okay. I can see all of the crocodiles from up here. Yes. I'm so mangroves. scared to get to the end. <laughs> so precisely, those mangroves, the skinny part, the timber, that's what they use for poles for the houses in the past. Oh really? Yes. To make the poles are they yeah, in the water? for the houses. I even got to see what I think was yeah. Faisal's oh, favourite bridge. That one, you see the high one? Yeah. The 30 kilometers? Yeah. And this Another type of the there. houses, they are not using any poles, but they are floating. They use the empty barrel. Oh really? Yes. So. If you build it down the sea, the way we have the more fish farming, so yeah. you won't be easy, especially when it's the sea very rough. Yeah. So you can get vomit. The people we have met here in Brunei have been such a standout for us. Like every time someone meets, we meet them, and um, you know we get a photo or whatever. Like it feels so genuine. Like it's really, it's really nice here to meet so many lo lovely people. Like everyone we've spoken to has been nice. Turn around, turn around. They're up there on the deck. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Oh, don't, no, don't wait. Oh, he did. <laughs> Keep us on track, please. <laughs> Hold the steering wheel. <laughs> oh, there's the bridge. We saw that over there, right? Yes. As we sail down the river and past Kampong Aya, Brunei's famous floating village, we laughed, looked at sights, and took in just how naturally beautiful Brunei is. It was awesome to see Brunei from this perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Faisal is telling us a lot about the local traditions and places here. That area, they See? a big ferry to help them build in the car and motorcycle. And yeah, I've just had such a great day speaking to Faisal here. He's still going on about a lot of facts. <laughs> And also some people from the tourism board as well who, like I said earlier in the video, invited me out here um, to make this video and to spend some time in Brunei. We just had such a good time. I don't know whether that's come across on film or not, but a lot of the conversations that we've had, I haven't filmed. We've just sat there and laughed and made jokes. It's been a really good time. Um, and like I said, I haven't captured, I don't know, the best bits. Like, I know a lot of people just turn on the camera when that happens or, or always have the camera on, but I like to experience those moments for myself as well. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I have to make a video. So we just laugh in the car, we talk, and it hasn't really been like a tour guide situation with us. We've really gotten to know each other and um, had a really good time. It's been like a friend showing us around and telling us all of this stuff. So, What's your favorite song? Any song. Any song? Houston? Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, me and Faisal, we're gonna do karaoke. Yeah, but we forgot. Sorry. We forgot. Yeah, we forgot. I didn't forget. <laughs> you get something? Show me, show me, show me. Oh, whoa! Kitang. Whoa! Oh, it smells like fish. Blaish. 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 It's a freshwater fish. Whoa, you got heaps. Satu, dua, tiga. How many? <laughs> Different year, but they got the same birth. They were born. They give birth the same day. Oh really? Yeah, yeah but different year. <laughs> different year, yeah. Which which day? Thirty of September. Thirty of September. September. Twenty ten, twenty twenty. Wow. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Leaving the river cruise made me realize something. There is always something you miss when you travel, and you're never gonna see everything. I know some people like to tick off countries like a checklist, as if the more you've been to, the better traveler you are, or something. But I know people who go on holiday to the same place every year, Bye -bye. and they're just as content and happy. Bye -bye. Sometimes, maybe more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. She just keeps saying goodbye. She's so cute. You do leave a piece of yourself in every country when you leave it, and Brunei was one of those for me. Yeah. So I wish you all the best of luck for staying in Brunei. Help me to share more to other people. Yes. Of what I learned from you. Well, we learned from each other. Yes, exactly. That's the meaning of life. <laughs> we brushed through it so fast last time, reading reports online that it was small and boring. But there's just so much more to it that when I was invited back, I had to say yes, to dive a little deeper. For a tourist, the locals are not trying to make a dollar out of you. 
the nature is beautiful and largely left alone from development, that there is a real focus on making a trip one to remember. And there is hospitality that, I promise you, regardless of who you are and what you believe in, is up there with the most friendliest places I have been anywhere in the world so far. Follow my TikTok and our Instagram, Mandaram Besar Longhouse. I knew coming back was the right decision, and I'm so happy that I didn't think of it as retracing my steps, but of better understanding a place that is so often misunderstood. So thank you everyone. I hope you all enjoy with Josie and Michael. They are so friendly, so good and they're very energetic and they're very supportive and they also like to laugh, you know, they have a great laughter <laughs> every time we talk and we visit places and they never ever say uh, bored with the expression that no, I share them, the uh, knowledge like and experience in Brunei. Always thank so you. I hope those viewers can uh, understand and then they ha can come to Brunei anytime if they want to. So thank, thank you, you again to Josie and Michael for this. Thank you, Good thank luck. you. <laughs>